Hello everyone, welcome to Russell's classroom. Today we are solve a nice mass Olympiad question. This question is 3 to the power a plus 2 to the power a is equal to 35. We are find out what is the value of a in this mass Olympiad question. So solution. Here, 3 to the power a plus 2 to the power a is equal to 35 this is our question now at this point if you think a is equal to 1 or a is equal to 2 or a is equal to 3 so a is equal to 3 it will be 27 plus 8 it will be 35 so you can see that here our final answer is a is equal to 3 but how to solve this interesting maths problem how to solve this maths question so solution this is our question now at this moment you can see that here is 3 to the power a and whole to the power power is 1 plus 2 to the power a and whole to the power power is 1 is equal to 35. Now at this moment here 1 so we know that 3 divide 3 it will be 1. So in this expression you can see here 3 to the power a bracket power is 1 over 1 it will be 3 over 3 plus and here is 2 to the power a bracket power is 3 over 3 is equal to 35 now at this moment we know that here is 3 over 3 so if i evaluate this exponent this fraction so i can see here 3 to the power a bracket and this 3 over 3 it will be 3 times 1 over 3 plus and here is 2 to the power a bracket and here is power 3 times 1 over 3 is equal to 35 and you can see 3 times 1 over 3 it will be 3 over 3 there is nothing changed now at this moment you can see here this expression it will be according to exponential formula it will be 3 to the power a over 3 so i can see it will be a over 3 this a times this 1 over 3 it will be a over 3 and whole to the power this 3 plus and here 2 to the power a over this 3 bracket power is this 3 is equal to 35 now at this moment here this will and this will let it will be 3 to the power a over 3 it will be x and 2 to the power a over 3 is equal to y and here is x and y is natural number so i can see here it will be x to the power 3 because of that this value it will be x and it will be y to the power 3 is equal to 35 now according to this property i mean a cube plus b cube it will be a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b square so i can see it will be x plus y times x square minus x y plus y square is equal to 35. now in this expression you can see here x square minus x y plus y square is always greater than x plus y this is x plus y but this is x squared this is x squared so you can see it is always greater than this value now at this point if i find out the factor this 35 so i can see this expression it will be x plus y times x squared minus x y plus y squared is equal to this 35 it will be 1 times 35 or 35 times 1 or 7 times 5 or you can see it will be 5 times 7 now at this moment you can see this is possible this is not possible and this is also possible this is not possible because of that this is x square minus x y plus y square is greater than x plus y so this is equal to 1 it is small this is equal to 35 it is greater than this number now you can see here x our first case it will be x 
plus y times x square minus x y plus y square it will be 1 times 35 and our other case here x plus y times x square minus x y plus y square is equal to 5 it is possible sorry this is not possible this is not possible because of that this is 7 is a bigger number now it will be 5 times 7 now at this moment i can easily here our first case x plus y is equal to 1 so here x plus y it will be 1 and here x square minus x y plus y square is equal to 35 now at this moment here x is x plus y is equal to 1 so if i use both set whole square so i use both set whole square here so you can easily here x square plus 2ab plus v square i mean here is y square is equal to 1 so at this moment if i subtract this value by this so i take this value here so it will be x square this equation to the x y plus y square is equal to 1 now i subtract x square minus x square, both are cancel it will be negative 3 x y this sign is changed this sign also changed this this cancel out we are find out 35 minus 1 it will be 34. now you can see here x y it is it will be 34 over 3 and here is negative sign but we know that x and y is natural number so x y product is not is equal to this fraction so it is not possible i avoid this value but others case we know that here is our second case x plus y is equal to 5 and x square minus x y plus y square is equal to 7 so if i take this value here uh, it will be x plus y is equal to 5 and other case x square minus x y plus y square is equal to 7. now at this point if i use both set whole square so it will be x plus y whole to the power 2 and here is 5 square i use both set whole square so it will be x square plus 2 x y plus y square is equal to 25 now i subtract this below this so it will be x square i take this equation here x y plus y square is equal to 7. now if i subtract both equation so this this cancel out it will be positive so it will be 3 x y this this cancel out it will be 18. now at this point if i divide both sides by 3 we are find out here is x y is equal to 6. so we are find out here is x y is equal to 6 it is possible but here x plus y is equal to 5 so i take this equation here so it will be x plus y is equal to 5. now we can see here y is equal to 5 minus x now we know that here x y is equal to 6 so i take this value here so x times y y is equal to 5 minus x is equal to 6 so it will be 5x minus x square is equal to 6 if i move on this 6 in this size it will be negative 6 now if i take negative sign both sides it will be x square minus 5x then it will be positive 6 is equal to 0 then if i take middle factor here so it will be x square minus twice x minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0 now here x is common so it will be x minus 2 minus 3 is common it is also x minus 2 is equal to 0 then you can see easily here x minus 2 is common so it will be x minus 3 is equal to 0 then here x is equal to 2 3 so we are find out here is x is equal to 2 3 so if you think here is x is equal to 2 this time you can see easily y 2 if you put this value 2 it will be y is equal to 3 and when if you think x is equal to 3 here is x is equal to 3 this time y is equal to 2 so we'll find out our final answer when x is equal to 2 this time y is equal to 3 when x is equal to 3 this time y is equal to 2 
but we call remember that our need a, a, a is equal to what so you can see here x is equal to 3 to the power a over 3 y is equal to 2 to the power a over 3 so i take this value here so it will be x here x is equal to a over 3 and y is equal to one of that it will be here x is equal to 3 to the power a over 3 and y is equal to 2 to the power a over 3 now at this moment uh, if i put this value here so if you think here is x is equal to 2 so if you think x is equal to 2 here so it will be 2 to the power 1 and 3 to the power a over 3 so it is not possible because of that it is uh, we are find out here is a is equal to fraction so it is not possible this value is possible so if i take x is equal to 3 so you can see it will be 3 is equal to here is 3 to the power a over 3 and y is equal to 2 and it will be 2 to the power a over 3 now at this point here is exponent is 1 this exponent is 1 so you can see that here is base is same so exponent is equal so a over 3 is equal to 1 and it is also a over 3 is equal to this one now you can see that here is a is equal to 3 times 1 it will be 3 and a is equal to 3 so we are find out our final answer here is a is equal to 3 so our question it will be 3 to the power a plus 2 to the power a is equal to 35 now we know that here 3 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 is equal to 35 because of that 27 plus 8 it is always 35 thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care